This is Stephanie from StatisticsHowTo.com. In this video, I'll show you what a normal distribution is, and I'll be showing you a few properties of the distribution. So here's our normal distribution. It's sometimes called a bell curve, and it's used to represent many different things like heights of people, measurement errors. Where you're probably most used to seeing the bell curve is in test scores. Now the complete area under the curve is 100%, and the bulk of test scores, say on the SAT or the GRE, the bulk fall into the middle here. You can equate this to getting a grade of C on a test. Smaller areas on both sides would equate to a B or a D. And then a small percentage of people will score very high or very low. Now what I drew here was very rough. We can actually come up with some pretty good figures using something called the empirical rule. In order to understand what an empirical rule is, you need to know what a standard deviation is. But very basically, a standard deviation is a unit of measurement. It's how we measure a bell curve from the mean out to the edge of the curve. So when we're talking about one standard deviation or two standard deviations or three, these are just units of measurement. Now the empirical rule tells us what percentage of the data falls within a certain number of standard deviations from the mean. Here's our mean right here. This is our average. The empirical rule tells us three things. First of all, it tells us that 68% of our data falls within one standard deviation. So one standard deviation either side of the mean, whereas one standard deviation here, and over here, this is negative one. So one either side is this entire area here. This will be 68% of our data. The second part of the empirical rule tells us that 95% of our data will fall within two standard deviations. So if we have negative two and two, that's two standard deviations either side of the mean. That's this area here. In other words, this entire area, that's going to be 95%. And within three standard deviations, we have 99.7% of our data. So pretty much the entire area under the curve is going to be between negative three and three standard deviations. Now remember these standard deviations, they're just units of measurement. But these units of measurement come in handy, especially when we're dealing with normal distribution word problems, which will be the topic of my next video. Just to wrap up this uh, normal distribution video, a few properties of a normal distribution. The normal distribution is symmetrical. That means if you put a mirror in the center, this half is exactly the same as this half. In other words, 50% of my data will be to the right of the mean and 50% will be to the left. A second useful property is that the mean, the mode, and the median are all equal. So this central point, that's the mean, is also the mode and the median. So with a normal distribution, you don't have to do three separate calculations. You can just calculate, say, the mean, and you'll also get the mode and the median from the same calculation. There's some basic properties of a normal distribution. Check us out at statisticshowto.com for more videos and articles and everything elementary statistics.